Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to be doing the Caproni CA4. So this is a pretty large Italian bomber from uh, World War I. It's a triplane. It's got quite a lot. Uh, the only thing I had to do with this one is actually raise these kind of bits to make it so that it looks okay. Um, so the fence we're just going to be floating. So what we're going to need for this one is uh, black wool buttons. I'm going to make another sandstone one, so slab, uh, stairs, and a full block. Never brick fence, a uh, block of iron, fence gates, and fences. Okay, so I'm going to come all the way over here, I'm going to have to go quite far. So I'm just going to place down two blocks with a one block gap in between. This is actually going to be two wide on these sides. Then one, two, three, four, five, or six blocks, so you're going to leave a five block gap. So there's five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do the same, just like that, and then put in your another brick. Fence and knees, so just be connected. Put some buttons on the end, just like that. Okay, so for behind these blocks, what we're going to do is just going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the tenth block, you're going to put down your black wall. Go up by two of another brick fences and put your buttons on. So you can delete these bits. I'm just putting these just to show you how much of a gap there is and where it lines up. So the same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put down your block, two pneumatic brick fences on the top, and the buttons on the side. And that is the kind of uh, first layout we'll do and we'll build on top of this. Okay, so we're just going to come to this block. I'm just going to place a placeholder here. I'm just going to do an upside down stair. Check out this one, upside down stair. So you get this pattern, this is where the, uh, kind of where the the wheels being held in, so it should be the same. That's there on each side. Now what we're gonna do is just gonna go one, two, one, sorry, one, two, three with slabs on each side. One, two, three. Like this. We're gonna put in four blocks here, so you're gonna put them two in the middle part. That's gonna be one at the back facing those wheels. And then an upside down sense just there. Now I'm just gonna add ten slabs onto these this on each side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this will be too thick, just like that, and then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there we go, so that's going to complete our first wing, uh, so we're just going to put in fence on every other one, so you're going to go fence, leave, leave one, and then fence, just do this from the end. That should line up over the top of the uh, wheel. Let's come again. Uh, just double check to see if we've got one in the middle. So, no, okay. So there's not one in the middle. Um, so you're going to leave this one free and I'll just do it from the other side again. So like two. And that kind of completes the bottom wing section. And um, we'll get up the next bit. Okay, so if you grab your sandstone there, so. What we're going to do is going to put two stairs down on each of these, just like this, and this will just be so they can connect in. It makes it look like it connects in a little bit better when you actually, actually get onto, it, onto the uh, next wing pillar. Here, so it's just on top of every single fence. You know, this. You can place the blocks correctly, not like me. So then these gaps you're just going to put down sandstone slabs just to fill in that gap there. And we're just going to run the other side. Do the same. Just like that. And then get your fence again. And you can just put another two on top of these. So this is the reason that I put the stairs there, just so it looks a little bit more connected. It's still not perfect, but. Um, otherwise, if you take away these and put down slabs, you get this kind of floating block, which I'm not too keen on. Okay, there we go. Almost done on this bit. There we go. I'm just going to check a couple bits and I'll be back on the next layer. Okay, so we'll just finish off this kind of cockpit part. We're going to add two slabs on this middle bit here. And then we're going to just add one on the back of each of these, just like that. Uh, and I'm just going to place this block down for the placeholder. So this is where I've kind of built a 
kind of back part, I guess. Just like that, that seating area. So we need one at the front coming across. And then underneath these, it's going to be the floor, so ignoring that part there. I guess this made three like that. So this is the kind of seating area. It's not as good as the other ones, but it's still not too bad. Uh, so then what you're going to do is I'm just going to finish off the last wing and just add an extra layer of sandstone slabs or whatever slab we're going to be using for this one. So just tie over the top. So it has got quite a big wingspan, so this bit does take a little bit of time. There we go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and we'll get onto the engine part and then also this kind of cool wing part. So we've got all the wings and cockpit. Okay, so we're just going to build the engine part. Uh, so we're going to leave this one here. The engine's going to be built directly over the wheels. So we're just going to put in two blocks, come forward by one. And going to add three blocks to the end as well. One, two, three. So this will connect into the kind of back section here. So same on this time, uh, side, just over the wheel arches themselves. One, two. Add another three on the back part of it. And add one block in the front. You're then going to put your block of iron on the front of that. Put your buttons on. This time you're going to go too high with the fences. That's on the top, not on the bottom. Like that. And on the side, just going to come out by two with fence meets as well, just like this. Just create some really, really big engines as it is quite a big build itself, so it's just making it twice as big in a way. So that's kind of finished off the kind of wings and the front part, and we'll start building the back kind of fin part. Okay, so you're just going to come to the back of these blocks and put an upside down stair on each of them. Then with slabs, just going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then put an upside down stair which will connect into this part. And again, one, one, two, three, four, five, upside down stair, which will fit into this part there. Okay, so then the slabs are just going to come across at this level. Join up and go out by one extra on each side, I think it is. Okay, so it just comes out by two on each side, sorry. Just like this. Just gonna change it to day. You get your sandstone stairs. Just put one on uh, each of those parts. And find the middle of these two, so just like three blocks in between. And just put upside down stairs on the back of each of these. And then right way up to finish off three kind of things at the back. And there you are, you have finished your uh, Crony CA for uh, Italian bomber from World War One. So it's a pretty, uh, it's quite an easy build, uh, it's just got a lot of blocks really, so there's not really too much that I put in this one, um, except for the <laughs> lever and the stairs which is kind of a common theme with all these World War One fighters because there's not too much you can do with them. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.